Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a video on tech juggling, the mechanics behind it, and how you do it. This video is part of a collaboration with Efficient Strategy Gaming. He's going to be doing a video on his channel about the uses of tech juggling and when you should consider doing it. A link to his video will be in the description. So to start with, tech juggling is simply starting research on a technology, letting this fill up the 30 days, and then swapping it into this technology. Doing that puts an extra 30 days of research towards this technology while delaying another technology by 30 days. So with research that isn't ahead of time, you can do it whenever you want. We're gonna start researching construction one. It starts at 199 days, and then we'll also start researching basic machine tools. Once this is filled up, we are going to tech juggle into construction one, and we're going to get the full 30 days. So we're at 177 days. Now, if we swap off, take this research slot that has 30 days saved up and swap into it, we'll apply the entire bonus. Now, if we come back to the tech I had it placed in, it doesn't even know it'd been researched because I naturally let the day take. I just forgot to record how many days it started with, which was 177. But what this shows you is if you are going to tech juggle, but you want to wait because something's ahead of time, you want to wait for that ahead of time penalty to go down as far as possible. You can save up those 30 days, start applying them to another tech and then still tech juggle later. So now with 30 days saved up here, we have 68 on basic machine tools. We'll switch that somewhere else. We had one day saved, so we should end up with 39 days left on basic machine tools. And we do. We have 39 days because we have now put 30 full days towards this. So we got 30 days here. We got 30 days here. It doesn't matter when it's applied. If the tech is not ahead of time, it does, however, pay when you're going to tech juggle to use a research slot that has nothing saved up yet, because then you'll get the full 30 days. Right now, we only actually got 29 days because one of those days, although it got applied, we weren't researching this during that day. So we're getting this one day later than if we'd done this ideally. Now let's go on to the test for ahead of time. Does it matter when you apply ahead of time and how much does it matter? What if you tech juggle at the beginning and then the end? Does that have any impact? That's what we'll do next. What I'm going to do for the test here is the Fighter 2, the Cast 2, and the Tactical Bomber 2 all have the same base research time and they're all four years ahead of time. I'm going to tech juggle one to start. I'm going to tech juggle the second one after about a year. And then I'm going to tech juggle the third one right at the end. And we're going to see which one finishes first. So after 30 days, we're going to switch off the tactical bomber. We're going to swap it to anything that's not going to give me research speed. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it onto the tactical bomber. And as you can see, we only got 10 days out of that. So let's keep going. We're going to let this finish. And then after about a year, I'm going to tech juggle cast two. Okay, so it's now the end of January 1937. So we're about three years ahead of time. We're going to tech juggle the cast two now. So this time we got 13 days instead of 10. We just put 30 days towards this and only got 13. Now we're going to keep going and I'm going to wait until January of 1938. We're going to do this again with two years ahead of time. Okay, it is now January 30th, 1938. There's two things I want to point out. Despite having researched this for two years, we're 250 days ahead. But anyways, I digress. We are going to tech juggle this into literally anything. It doesn't matter. So now we're at 310 days. So we got an extra six days out of that. This one was 10 days. So that makes this one 19. So it definitely pays to tech juggle as late as possible when you're dealing with ahead of time tech. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to see if we tech juggle this again, do we get any more benefits? So I'm going to tech juggle the tactical bomber again. You're not supposed to get any benefit from tech juggling because you've already put 30 days towards something. And that is definitely true with something that's not ahead of time. But what if it is ahead of time? We tech juggled this and we only got 10 days. When the improved infantry equipment finishes and we are close to finishing the tactical bomber, we are going to tech juggle into the tactical bomber again and see if the number of days changes. We are now 70 days left on the tactical bomber. This is around the time where you want to make sure another tech is finishing. You don't need to tech juggle with 60 days left. You just need to make sure there's 30 days left, but you also need time for the days of research to get stored. So I'm going to do it now. We're at 70 days. If I swap this to anything and take the 30 days with it and then reapply the 30 days, we're now at 53. So if you tech juggle wrong, you can fix it. Even that the Fighter 2 was 61 days and the Tactical Bomber is 53 days, we just got another eight days of research out of that, which puts us at 27. And we put all 30 days towards 
this tech, which is no longer ahead of time. So we didn't waste any of these 30 days and we only wasted three of these 30 days. So you definitely want to tech juggle as late as possible. And when you do it, you only need to make sure you have at least 30 days left to make sure you're not wasting any. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative or helpful. Like I mentioned, Efficient Strategy Gaming will also be doing a video on tech juggling and its uses, and you can find that link in the description.